Hi everyone, this is Tim Corbley with the KISS Institute for Practical Robotics. So today we're going to be going over how to mount one of these LEGO wheels to a motor. So first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to grab a motor and one of these clear bags out of your motor bag right here. And so there should be a one for one motor to bag. And so now that we've got these both out, we're going to take some of these pieces out of our clear bag here. So we've got a bunch of different pieces in here. Some of the main ones being our motor mounts of various shapes and sizes, our little rubber spacers, the silver screws, the little brass pieces that go on the screws, so that you can mount these to Lego pieces more easily, but we won't need those for this time. And then our little black screw, this tiny little black screw that's in the bag. And so the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're going to take our round motor mount and our tiny black screw, and we're going to mount them to the motor. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put our motor mount on the motor Push it on pretty tight. And then we're going to take our little black screw and we're going to screw that in to that hole that's in the center. So the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're going to take our motor mount and notice how it has six holes on here. And then there's all these different holes on the round motor mount here. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to take two of our silver screws and we're going to mount them to this. So the first thing you're going to do is take your silver screw and drop it into one of those holes. And so you should be able to see it from the bottom. Oh, dropped it a little bit. And so one thing you'll want to do in order to keep these in the holes a little bit better is you're going to take your screwdriver and get it on your screw and then hold it like this where you've got your screwdriver and it's pushing against this so that way you can hold this and the screwdriver at the same time. So now that we've got this in, we're going to try and line up this silver screw with one of the holes on here. And so I'm gonna kind of try and gently put it on. And I'm just gonna turn it a couple of times. I can feel it catching now. And so now I've got it secured a little bit. And so we don't wanna screw it on too tight at first because we have to get this other screw in. So. On all of our motor mounts, the holes are always directly opposite of each other. And so if we've got one in right here, there should be one directly opposite it over here. So we're gonna drop this screw in. And then if we start screwing, we should catch one of those holes. There we go. So we've had a little bit. So now that's pretty secure. So we're just gonna tighten up these screws a little bit so that way they don't come off as easily. And you don't have to tighten them too much, just a little bit until you can feel that they're pretty secure. So now I've got the screws in. I can turn this more easily now. And the last thing we'll need to do is we're going to put one of our tires on the wheels. It just pops on like that. And you want to make sure that you line up the tire with the wheel. There we go. Now we've got a tire and wheel mounted to our motor.